It was a typically hot and humid August day shaping up in Tokyo for Thursday morning's first action of the week's Olympic qualification event. With the transition area that snakes around Tokyo Bay, measures were in place to ensure water quality, but with temperatures forecast to rise further, ITU rules meant that the 10km run would be shortened to 5km. On the start list for the first time since last year's WTS Hamburg, two-time world champion Flora Duffy was excited to be back in action, albeit uncertain of her race form and starting as an unaccustomed number 55 on the list. Olympic qualification was on the cards for athletes from several national federations including the USA, Germany and Austria. The Rio 2016 bronze medalist Vicky Holland also well placed for selection if she took the gold. Wearing the number one, Katie Zafiris was among the Americans hoping to seal the deal a year out from the games, while Duffy was in the enviable position of a pressure-free race to test out both herself and the Olympic course. On your marks. On your mark. Starting with two laps of Tokyo Bay, Jess Learmonth soon clicked into her usual fluid stroke and opened up a decent advantage after 750 metres. Diving back in at the halfway mark with daylight ahead of Brazil's Vitoria Lopez and USA's Summer Rappaport. By the end of the swim, Learmonth had stretched her advantage to 10 seconds over Rappaport and Zafiris, Lopez and Netherlands' Maya Kingma right on their shoulders. With significant daylight behind her, Learmonth looked comfortable out on her own on the bike, while Zafiris was also solo in second. With Flora Duffy clearly reveling in her return and powering the chase pack forward, however, it wouldn't be long before Zafiris was caught. Then Learmonth's time was up by the end of lap two, Alice Beto and Georgia Taylor-Brown, among the strong riders, now sharing the lead. A coming together between Zafiris and Kirsten Kasper saw the end of the number one's race, Kasper able to get back on and try to gain some ground and close in on Rapport and South African Simone Ackerman, who had fallen off the lead group. A strong group of riders including Taylor Nib, Vicky Holland and Sophie Coldwell caught them but remained a minute and 40 seconds off the pace at the bell, leaving Duffy, Taylor, Spivey, Maya Kingma, Alici Beto, Vittoria Lopez, Georgia Taylor-Brown and Jess Learmonth to cruise into T2 without danger. Duffy's lightning fast transition saw her out first and once she was joined by the two Brits, the trio pressed on together for the opening stage of the run, Spivey, Lopez and Beto already losing touch. For the chase pack, the 5km run didn't look like being enough time to close down the leaders, but Holland and Rappaport would back themselves on the run. Flora Duffy then fell away from Learmonth and Taylor Brown, but never let them out of her sight, despite a lack of race practice. The British training partners were stride for stride over the final kilometre, but as they held hands to cross the line together, that violation of ITU rules saw them disqualified. Duffy assuming the gold, Alicia Beto the silver, and guaranteeing her place at Tokyo 2020, with Vicky Holland the bronze. Yeah, this was my first race in over a year, so there was a lot of cobwebs to blow out. I felt very rusty out there. Just, it was hard from the start for me. I haven't done this intensity, as I said, in over a year, um, but I'm just happy to be back. There was a lot of times this past year I didn't think I would be back. I didn't think I would run again. I didn't think I'd ever be back at the pointy end of the race. So, to be perfectly honest, this is best case scenario. I loved the course. It was just great to race out there with the girls again and um, just feel like myself. Every lap, I thought, uh, think about just one lap and then step by step because uh, the, the race uh, was very long uh, because the temperature uh, was high. So uh, if you uh, think about the temperature, you, you don't finish the race. So you, you have to, to think step by step and uh, I, I did it. It was a bit of a mixed bag for me today. I had a sort of a pretty good start to the swim, but wasn't really pleased with the way I kind of dealt with the second lap. I think I lost a bit of time and uh, I didn't feel too good in the water today. Came out just out of touch with that, with that front pack uh, and never really got back in touch with the front pack on the bike. Onto the run and I started to find myself towards the end of that first lap and I was gaining on people. I took, I took a couple of places back, came in with, a, with fifth place and I guess I was sort of half satisfied with that but felt like I could have done better and had we had the full Olympic distance I think I might have been able to pick off one or two more places. 